Good Tuesday morning, Romans chapter 7. I find it to be a law that I want to do right, but evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inner being, but I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, I myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. Nicky Gumbel says, Much ink has been spilled over this passage. The main debate is whether Paul is referring to his Christian or pre-Christian state. It's clearly autobiographical, but he is also talking generally about the condition of human beings living under the law. Perhaps we should see this passage as describing the Christian not living in the fullness of the Spirit's power, even though he or she desires to do so. I agree with Nikki. It's an internal struggle. See, when we were lost, we knew we needed something. We knew we needed someone, and that someone was Jesus. Then after we were born again, the struggle intensified because now we knew the truth. And, and when we fall short, we feel like we're not only failing ourselves, we're failing the Lord. Obeying God often starts with winning the battle against ourself. Sometimes our selfish desires are fulfilled so quickly, there really is no fight at all. But when our inner being asserts his or herself and our, our fleshly impulses are denied, the battle has begun. It's not natural, and it's not easy to fight and to conquer evil. Sin struggles hard, and our our spirit wants to submit to God, but the flesh is weak and often refuses to follow the lead of our spirit. Now, I'm not talking about base, vile, horrible crimes. Think about the temptation of Jesus. Satan began with natural, self-preservation kind of indulgence turn these stones into bread. Now in another time, in another place, having a sandwich is a perfectly legitimate longing to fulfill. But on that day, it was war. Submitting to the law of God is a battle that is one in the mind. It is called the law of the mind because it is our mind that serves as our personal judge. See, when we allow our carnal passions to govern our soul, That's when we lose the battle. For the sake of ease and pleasure, we choose to gratify a personal desire and God's destiny for us gets fuzzy. This happens a lot. Remember, it happened to Jesus. He had every struggle you have. And that's why he offers us his unfailing support in every battle. Jesus is the captain of our salvation, and we can fight every battle with confidence because Jesus has already won the war. Lord, my battle sometimes seems silly to me, and I feel like I should work it out alone. Then I remember you had a silly battle about bread, and you you took that silly battle seriously and Satan was defeated. Lord, sometimes I'm silly. I ask you to make me wise. Sometimes I'm weak, Lord. I ask you to make me strong. Holy Spirit, fill me with your power as I fight the good fight of faith. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.